I saw a good video made by Dave Trippin in Japan about disappointment, and I wanted to comment. Dave, if you're watching, great video. Dave made the point that we are often raised to expect things to be good. And so when they're not good, we're disappointed. And so Dave advised being focused on the way things are and doing good yourself. Then he mentioned that people may find in life that perhaps there's no point in doing good because others aren't doing good. And he suggested the remedy for this is realizing that when we do good, we are different. And it's good to be different. It's good to be original. And this is satisfying. I'd like to add a point. There's an actual practical benefit, psychological, to doing good. When you do bad, you develop the habit of doing bad. This is a concept in Buddhism. And it's backed up by science. As with anything, the more you do it, the more it becomes part of your physiological pathways, your neurological pathways. It becomes habit, or as we say in Buddhism, habit energy. The more you do it, the more you want to do it. Just think about how you have a knee-jerk way of reacting to things which seem to be caused by the same conditions that caused your initial reaction to that. Think of love, think of how you have those special feelings and they come when the conditions are the same. Hopefully about the same person if you're in a relationship. This is conditioning in the brain. It's that old story of Pavlov's dog or his dogs. Why didn't the S come out? <laughs> I'm an impromptu speaker and so I try very hard to speak clearly and without mistakes in these videos and sometimes the mechanics of speech in my body, something in my throat, my breathing, get caught up and then I have to correct myself. Which brings me to another point. Dave talked about people being misunderstood and they're wanting to be understood. He gave the example of those who come from the West to teach English in Japan and they're having to deal with their parents who disagree with this lifestyle choice. Well, there's another kind of misunderstanding which could be part of that and which is more common in day-to-day -day life and that is when people misunderstand what one another are saying. You may have noticed I've mentioned before and in several videos that I was fired from a very important and enjoyable job that I had with a major environmental organization because things I said were misunderstood, misconstrued, and even twisted because the people hearing this were keyed up with a psychological agenda related to political and social conditions that they were hyper-focused on. As a result of that experience and as a result of my having a penchant for being accurate, you'll notice that my speech 99% of the time is probably 100% grammatically correct, textbook correct, written correct, not spoken correct. And I do this because I don't want to be misunderstood. And that was going to be what I wanted to add to what Dave said. People should focus on being understood. Take pains to speak correctly and carefully and not to say things that can be misconstrued.